Hi, good afternoon. Hi, Luis. Good afternoon, Javier. Hi, guys. What's up? What's good up? afternoon. There. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm, I'm okay. Better, Mr. Javier? Mm -hmm. Yes. Better. That's good. And you, Mr. Luis, did you work? Yes, sir. Good morning. Mornings, that's good. That is great. How you been, sir? What about you, your YouTube channel? It's um it's growing very slow, but you know it's it's growing. The TikTok is growing faster. Yes, I I think that. I think it's more popular, obviously, right now, right? Yes, uh, YouTube is slowly, but it's amazing the the platform because yeah. you you can find uh, you can find uh, everything you you want, exactly. and and maybe uh, TikTok, you are watching any video. And two, two seconds uh, after, you you can see other kind of, of video <laughs> different. Yeah, like very random, right? Yes, very so random. random. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah, but it's it's very difficult to create content. I know. know. Yeah. It's very difficult, but it's the only way that people um are paying attention now you know yes i mean if i publish a photo with the course nobody's going to ask but if you upload a video it's different it is different yes remember the guy from yesterday the guy the what's his name yes uh Aaron? Uh, yeah, Aaron from Monterrey, right? All right. He saw me on a TikTok and he asked me for info. So you can get customers. I through... thought that he, he was from Hermosillo. Mm -mm. From I don't Monterrey. knew that. Yeah. All right. That's amazing. So, yeah, it's... Uh... It's a big challenge, but yes, we have to do it. What's up, Mr. Alfredo? Hello, Mr. Hello, guys. How are you? Good. How have you been? Hey, uh, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? What happened? Some, some issues, but it's part of the job. Personal issues or? No, no, work. Work issues. Work, work issues. Well, that's, but that's, it's fine. It's better it, to have it, work uh, issues. Yeah, it's um make a uh, uh, spicy day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have been you yesterday you have been putting como es apagar uh extinguishing could be extinguishing fires extinguishing. <laughs> extinguishing fires yeah well, yesterday can... we have a, a small fire on the, on the hill here in the pit um after the blast putting off putting off yeah putting off fires putting off like literally fires literally fires Literally fires. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> wow. What's happening? Hello. Good afternoon, guys. Hello, you, you look Good like a spa girl. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you taking a spa? No, no. Um I arrived my house to the to the exercise. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> you, you're using the perfect. 
<laughs> y comida. I am meeting papitas. <laughs> that's that's incongruent. I'm just kidding. Yes, I I know. Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Uh the last week I have watched uh movies in English. I understand little because hay muchas palabras que no sé qué significan. Ajá, vocabulary. De, ajá, pero me siento muy bien. O sea, de que That's... siento que la puedo mirar, que puedo entender mucho solo con el contexto y con los subtítulos. Oyendo y o, o sea, escuchando y leyendo. Así que toda la semana me he pasado mirando películas en todas en inglés. No sé, With me siento... English, English subtitles. Yeah. yeah perfect. Yes. Yeah, it's going to help you a lot. Continue. Yeah. It's good. Yep. Okay. So, guys, let's continue with what we didn't finish yesterday. We didn't finish this exercise. Um, remember creating negative sentences from positive? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. don't know. I, re I remember. Okay. Haven't Only... you been playing Candy Crush all this time? Negative, yeah, it can be. Haven't ha you? Haven't you been? Haven't you been? Uh huh. Playing Candy Crush. All haven't this you day? been? Haven't you been playing? Haven't you been playing Candy Crush? On this time. All this time. Yep. Okay. Negative, okay. right? Um, yeah. possible answer. Haven't you yes. been playing? I have. Or no, I haven't. Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay. What's up, Carlos? What's that? What's that is good? All good and you? Good, good. Perfect. All right, number eight. Mr. Luis, you remember, right? Yes, sir. Has okay. has my mom been driving me to work all week? Yeah. Have my mom, have my mom been, oh no, has my mom, sorry. Has, yes. Yeah, thank you. Has my mom been driving? All right. Let's see, Javier, you got number nine? Yes. Uh, have we been? Have we been drinking too much coffee lately? Have we been drinking too much coffee lately? Very good. Yes, we have. <laughs> yes, we have. Not only lately, for the last 20 years, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Sebastian. How are you? Hi, everybody. Good, good. Doing good? Yes. Great. You're driving, Carlos. I get it. Okay. Rene, number 10, please. Thank you, Sebastian, for the camera. Okay, the number 10. <clears throat> Has Ethan, Ethan been yeah. training for his upcoming marathon race? Training for his upcoming, upcoming, upcoming marathon race. Race, very good. Race, okay, race. Mm -hmm. Possible um, answer, guys? Yes, yeah. he has or no, he hasn't. Uh -huh, yeah. Yes, he has or no, he hasn't. All right. All right, Lupita, it's okay. Hi, Claudia, how are you? Hi, mister, I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, doing good. Yes. Mr. Thank you. Mr. Alfredo, can you do the question? It's logical. Olivia has been um rehearsing. 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 Uh, hasn't Olivia been rehearsing? Negative, okay. Hasn't Olivia? Uh, negative. 
Hasn't Olivia been rehearsing for her piano recital next week? Yeah. For her piano recital. Hasn't Olivia been re rehearsing? What's the possible answer? Hasn't Olivia? Yes, she has. Or yeah. no, she, no, she, she hasn't. hasn't. Or no, she hasn't. Mr. Sebastian, can you do 12? Sorry, do what, difference, what difference uh, between practicing and rehearsing? Rehearsing? Um, well, rehearsing, you will translate it like ensayando more than practicing. All right. It's Ensayar. Four. Rehearse. All right. I got it. Thank you. Like, uh, you're welcome. All right, Sebastian, yes. you got 12. Okay. Hasn't, hasn't Max been studying for his final exams all week? Yep. Hasn't Max been studying? This is negative two. For his final exams all week. Okay. <laughs> And the, and the translated is, uh, no ha estado estudiando Max? Sí. ¿Es es? Sí. Okay. O si lo quieren traducir más cercano al español, parece, ¿qué no? ¿Qué no? ¿Qué no Max ha estado estudiando? La like edad. Okay. If it's positive, what will be the translation for positive? Has Max been studying? Ha estado, que no, no, ahí sería, ha estado estudiando nomás. Uh -huh. Ha estado estudiando Max for his final exams. Okay. All right, so this is from yesterday, okay, to finish yesterday. We, I'm going to ask you questions. You need to respond. Can you help me, Luis, with the instructions, please? Yes. Exercise two. Read the question and write the short answer with personal information. So, for example, Luis, Luis, have you been studying English for more than a year? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Personal information. Um, Sebastian, have you been smoking? It smells weird. Have you been smoking? Mm, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. All right. What is Weird. 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 Strange. Oh, you know? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird. Okay. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter if the, if the question uh, so, um, use the it smell weird or it doesn't matter if it's yes or not. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, no, because the question will be applied to, uh, one more time. The answer will be applied to that question. Okay. To that, to that, have you been? Is that is that your question? I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, okay. Okie doke. Let's see. Javier, has your best friend been living with you this year? No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. All right. Let's see. Claudia, have you been cooking for your family lately? Have you been cooking for your family? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Alfredo, have you been spending lots of money this summer? It can be this winter. Have um, you been spending lots of money, man? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> Let's see. Luis, have your friends been partying on weekends? Uh, no, they haven't. No, they haven't. They are all, maybe. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> Number seven. Rene, have you been watching the new reality show on TV? 
TV, yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Hey, Carlos, is you driving? Coming back to Sebastian. Sebastian, have you been exercising this year? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Coming back to Luis, Mr. Luis, have you been visiting your family lately? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And to finish, Javier, have you been enjoying home office? Of course. Of course. <laughs> And me how do you too, answer like that? Too, of, course I have. of course I have. You can change that one. Look, if you say yes, you can say, of course I have. Of course I have. Okay. Instead of yes. Good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> remember, guys, the tip is to listen to the question. Right? If you catch the question, the answer is going to be easy right to get it in that case so we finished this one from yesterday we have a listening in this listening we are going to have 20 questions that you personally are going to answer it's a yes no exercise okay so i think it's very easy let's see All right. So guys, the challenge is to understand the questions, okay? Because there are pretty, pretty big, pretty big, big, I would say, or they're pretty long, okay? So here we go. Listen and answer with personal information. True English Academy Listening Program. S step number 29. Have you been paying attention? Exercise 4. Instructions. Listen to the 20 yes-no questions being asked, then you will have some time to write your answers on the corresponding lines. Number 1. Have you been studying for your next oral evaluation? Have you been studying for your next oral evaluation? Number 2. Have you been exercising regularly? Number 3. Have you been working on a personal project lately? Number four. Have you been learning how to play the guitar this last month? Number five. Have you been saving money all these months for your next summer vacation? Number six. Have you been watching a good series lately? Number seven. Have you been improving your English skills in the last six months? Number eight. Have you been attending your online classes regularly? Number nine. Have you been trying to quit smoking? Number 10. Have you been spending too much time on social media lately? Number 11. Have you been drinking enough water this week? Number 12. Have you been cleaning your house daily? It looks really clean. Number 13. 
Have you been learning a new language in the past months? Number 14. Have you been getting enough sleep? Number 15. Have you been exploring new hobbies? Number 16. Have you been managing your stress levels? Number 17. Have you been spending quality time with your family? Number 18. Have you been trying to reduce your screen time? Screen time means uh, being on Facebook, on TikTok. Screen time. One more time, the question. Reduce your screen time. Number 18. Have you been trying to reduce your screen time? Number 19. Have you been making progress in your career? Number 20. Have you been answering all the questions correctly? Have you? <laughs> yes. Hi. All right. Short question. Uh, no? Short question. All right. So we're going to do it. We're going to mix it a little bit with some conversation or speaking. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you the number and then we're going to listen to the question and you are going to answer. If you answer positively, yeah, for example, yes, I have, for example, right? If you answer positively, you need to give a little, a little bit more of information, for example. Have you been practicing your English lately? Yes, I have. I have been practicing my English lately because I'm taking English classes. Make sense? So it's like answering, but at the same time, I want to give extra information because I want to be in the conversation with you. All right? Now, if you do a negative example, have you been practicing your English lately? And I answer negatively. No, I haven't then you need to give me an excuse. No, I haven't been studying, I haven't been practicing my English because I have been very busy, for example. Make sense? Okay. So it's a combination of everything, right? Listening, answering correctly, and then improvising a little bit. All right? Okay. So Mr. Luis, you're number one, Alfredo number two, Javier number three, Sebastian number four, Claudia five, Rene six. Lupita, are you ready yet? Carlos, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so seven, Lupita, seven one, from... two, three, four, five, seven. Lupita, Carlos, are you driving? Sí, todavía estamos aquí, pero estoy poniendo atención. Okay. <laughs> seven, Lupita, Luis eight, Alfredo nine. Javier 10, Sebastian 11, Claudia 12, Rene 13, 14 Lupita, 15 Luis, 16 Alfredo, 17 Javier, 18 Sebastian, 19 Claudia, and 20 Rene. Um, relax, okay? I'm going to set the question and then I'm going to pass the question. So you have time to explore your English. Okie dokie. But it's only short uh, question. Do you go short answer, uh, answer? Short answer, but then if you answer positively, for example, yes, I have, you need to give extra info. Okay, okay, okay. And if, if you answer negatively, you need to give an excuse. Make sense? All right, here we go. Number one. Have you been studying for your next oral evaluation? Yes, I have, because I haven't been taking all the class uh, in the past weekends. Excellent, man. 
All right. Let's go with number two. Number two. Have you been exercising regularly? No, I haven't. Uh, because I haven't been um, too much time online. I haven't been. I haven't been. I haven't been. I haven't been. Having nothing. I haven't been yeah. having too much time on on the night, on Excellent. night. Number three. Number three. Have you been working on a personal project lately? Yes, I have. I have been. I have been working in my learning English. Nice. Let's continue. Number four. Have you been learning how to play the guitar this last month? No, I haven't because I've been I've been learning English in my free time. Very good answer. Good. Number five. Have you been saving money all these months for your next summer vacation? Yes, I have, uh, because I I have been traveling for the next summer. I have been traveling. I yes I. Maybe you can say yes. I have because I haven't been traveling in the last summers. Okay. Yes. Make sense. Yes. All right. Let's continue. Number six. Have you been watching a good series lately? Uh, yes, I have been watching a new series. Uh, the name is Academia de Señoritas. I okay. don't remember the, the name, the academic. Nice. Thank you, Renee. Number seven. Have you been improving your English skills in the last six months? That's Lupita's, right? Lupita? Yes, teacher. Um, you want to, you do you want to listen please. to the question? Yes, please. Number seven. Have you been improving your English skills in the last six months? Yes, I have. Because um, since six months, um, I have preparing English skills. Okay, nice. Let's go back to Luis, I think. Number eight. Have you been attending your online classes regularly? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. But I, I haven't been attending my English class every day. All right. Regularly, but not every day. All right. Let's continue. Number nine. Have you been trying to quit smoking? Yes, I have. Um, uh, when I was a child, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now I I haven't been smoking. Cause it's too weird. Okay, it's too smell weird. smell weird. Oh, because it smells weird. All right, nice. Number ten. Have you been spending too much time on social media lately? Mm, maybe, maybe yes. Yes, I have. I have been. Uh, Spending uh, too much time in YouTube and TikToks. All right. 
with the listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's for your good, all right? You are influencer, Javier. No, no, no. <laughs> in 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 the in the Netflix too. Oh, Netflix. In English, been, Javier, okay. Yes, I, I have been watching the Yellowstone series in, in English with uh subtitle subtitles in English too. Perfect. It's good. And good pronunciation in the Yellowstone because it's like a country mm -hmm. uh, accent. Very good. Let's continue. Number Who's 11. Next? Have you been drinking enough water this week? No, I haven't because I I've been forgetting to bring my my bottle of water when I Excellent. go to work. Excellent, man. Good answer. Let's see. Number 12. Have you been cleaning your house daily? Yes, I have. Uh, because I I clean my house every day. All right. Yes. It looks really clean. It it looks really clean, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> Number thirteen. Have you been learning a new language in the past months? <clears throat> no, I haven't because. I have been learning only English. Nice, Rene. Lupita, you ready? Number 14. Have you been getting enough sleep? I think Lupita is busy. Number Luis. 15. Luis. Have you been exploring new hobbies? Yes, uh, yes, I have. Uh, I I've been learning uh, Japanese cuisine. For, oh, to... nice, man. Good. Yes. It's an exquisite hobby. Number 16. Have you been managing your stress levels? Uh-oh. Yeah, of course. Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, especially on uh, monthly, month -end. Uh, I have been um, management my man, management managing my stress. Man, managing my stress, very good. Let's continue. Number 17. Have you been spending quality time with your family? Yes, I have. I have been uh, spending more time with my daughters and wife. Excellent. During during my rest. Nice. Okay. If you say during my rest, it's okay. I think it will be better if you say during my days off. More days informal. Off. Yes. Mm -hmm. Days during off. My, during Day. my days off. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. That's... Number 18. Have you been trying to reduce your screen time? Uh, no, I haven't because I've been watching uh, videos. Uh, For, for learning something new, maybe All English, right. maybe something to work, something like that. Nice. So lots of screen time. It's a new concept, okay? Screen time. Number 19. Have you been making progress in your career? Yes, I have. Uh, I have been learning uh, new topics in my career. Professional. Perfect, Claudia. Let's finish. Number 20. Have you been answering all the questions correctly? No, I haven't. But now, yes, I catch in all, all the questions and all responding the, the answers. Nice. All right. So you got it. Yes. Excellent. Sorry if it's too much repetition, but you know, when we get to um, perfect tenses, we need to repeat and repeat and repeat, okay? Let's go with the next topic. Okay. I 
look at this one. Ay, el talón de Aquiles de todos. Aquí viene. Reading. 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 <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Who wants to do paragraph number one? It's complicated vocabulary. Okay. So you need to take it easy. Mr. Sebastian. All right. So paragraph number one, man. All this. You got it? Yes, can I start? Of course. Okay. Governments around the world have been taking actions to overcome the problems brought on the by the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the most prominent actions taken has been the implementation of vacation uh, back, vaccin vaccination. I don't know. Vaccination? Vaccination. Vaccination programs to help control to help control the spread of the virus. In addition, many governments have been providing financial support to individuals and business affected by the pandemic. Very nice, man. All right. Do it, Sebastian, but do it slower, okay? Okay. We're going to try this one. Less velocity, more quality in the pronunciation. Yes. All right, go for it. Uh, I repeat. Yeah, one more time. Less velocity, okay. better pronunciation. Yeah. Governments around the world have been taking action to overcome the problems brought of the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the most prominent actions taken has been the implementation of vaccination programs to help control the spread of the virus. virus. In addition, many governments have been providing financial support to individuals and business affected by the pandemic. Much better. That's better. All right. Now, do you have like new vocabulary that you don't understand in this small paragraph? Yes, prominent. 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 And overcome for me. Prominent, overcome, that's why they are in red, because probably you don't know those words. Okay. Overcome is like to survive, to go after, you know? For example, um, some people didn't overcome the pandemic. They died. They didn't survive. Does that make sense? Overcome. It's <clears throat> complicated, Luis. Overcome. Um, Overcome. For example, I have many problems. I have many problems, but don't worry. I'll overcome them. I understand. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes, I I, don't worry. I'll overcome them, you know. Maybe in three weeks, I will be okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so overcome. Look at the context. Governments around the world have been taking actions to overcome the problems brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Make sense? Yes. All right. And then prominent, Sebastian, one of the most prominent actions taken has been the implementation of vaccination. So prominent, let's go for a, <clears throat> a synonym. Prominent. Look, it can be one of the most important actions. Yeah one of the most distinguished actions, yeah, prominent. Okay. Are you paying attention to the present perfect progressive? We are using it. Okay, paragraph number two, who wants it? I, me. Mr. Ha All right, Javier. <clears throat> Health officials, 
have been working tirelessly to develop the new treatments and medication for COVID-19. Research has also been a major focus for governments as officials uh, have been investing in studies to better understand the virus and how it how how it spreads. Nice, Javier. Okay, what is this word spread? Como, como esparcir. 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 esparcir, esparcir. Very good. Mm. And then we have tirelessly, tirelessly, tirelessly. Look. Art, como trabajar duro o arduamente o algo así. Uh -huh. Tirelessly. Remember that less is equal no, right? Okay. So, no tire. Sin and this descanso. one is equal. Exactamente. Okay. Remember that LY is mente, okay? Okay. So, tire, tirelessly. Incansablemente. Incansablemente. Tirelessly. Incansablemente. Okay. All right. Tirelessly. Tirelessly. I'm working tirelessly to finish my project. Paragraph number three, who wants to read? Girls. 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 Me. Girls. Rene, go Rene. Okay. <laughs> okay. To the to reduce the spread of COVID-19, officials have implemented new policies and procedures such as social distancing guidelines and mask mandates. Governments have also been working to improve their health care systems to better handle the efflux of the COVID-19 patients. 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 All right. New vocabulary. Influx. <laughs> Influx. Look for a synonym. Mm -hmm. Incursion, invasion can be invasion, right? Intrusion. Inundation, incursion, right? Intrusion. So we're talking about the influx of COVID in the patients, the contamination, right? Now. Okay. And to finish the last one, education. Somebody? Dale pues, para ir más temprano. Andale pues, go mister. <laughs> Education has been a major focus as well, as officials have been working to inform the public on the importance of following health uh, guidelines and getting vaccinated, 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 and getting vaccinated. Finally, Many governments have been collaborating with other countries to share information and resources to combat the pandemic. This collective effort demonstrates the world's commitment to overcoming the challenge posed by COVID-19. Okay, pronunciation this. Post. 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 
by COVID. Post. 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 Post by COVID. COVID. Okay, new vocabulary, guys. Major focus, where is? Major focus, Ma deadline. Ma major major focus. Major. major. The, the biggest, the most important. Right? Okay. So, in the next page, you have this exercise. The first world, not no world, the first word, no world, it's overcome. Overcoming COVID. It's a verb, okay? How can you use it in a sentence if it's a verb? You can do any conjugation, okay? Uh, I have been working to overcome all my life. I mm. have, I have been, I have been working to overcome, to overcome what in your life? To overcome? To, overcome, to it. <laughs> to overcome, to... <laughs> To eat hot dogs. To wear it in my case. Better things. Okay. But overcome what? Remember that overcome is como superar, yes. right? But superar what? Overcome All what? All right. To overcome um, overcome issues, financial problems, Mental yes, problem. can be to overcome uh, my teachers. My yes, teachers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, it can be uh, financial problems. It's okay. To, uh, yeah, to overcome financial problems. Very good. To overcome. Uh, ¿Qué dijimos que era? Overcome. Superar. Superar. Superar, thank you. Superar. Number two is prominent, and prominent is an adjective. Okay, you need to you need to describe something with prominent. Remember, the most important. It's an adjective. Any ideas? Prominent. I have been I have been studying studying to a prominent to a prominent project. Very nice. Okay. I have been I have been I forgot your verb, I'm sorry. Studying, I have been what? Studying, studying. or working. A studying okay. a study. For a prominent project, of course. Like a very important project. Prominent. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the next word? Tires, tire, tires, tire, tirelessly. 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 It's an adjective, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. It's an adverb. Remember, adverbs describen verbos. This is, you need to describe what you have been doing. Ah, uh, it's a verb, it's an adverb, yeah. It's an adverb describing an action. Teacher, I have been selling online tires lately. Tire, tirelessly, tirelessly, tirelessly. Wait a minute. Sailing. Sailing. Oh. oh, selling. Sorry. Selling. Okay, I've been. I have been selling online. Online. Uh -huh. Tirelessly. Lucky you, Lupita. Good. 
Ah, the flowers for I have new customers. Okay. I have been selling online flowers tirelessly. Uh, okay. Okay. Or you can say, I have been selling online tirelessly my flowers. Many hmm. options, don't worry. What's the next one, guys? Next word. Spread. What is spread. it? Spread. 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 It's a verb, okay? It's a verb. How can you use it? I have been using a mask to not spread my flu. Excellent, Alfredo. Very nice. I have been using my mask for not spreading. Spreading what? The flu, right? My flu. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Next one. Spread. What's the next one? The flu? The flu or my flu? Spreading. The flu. My flu. What's number five? Policies. 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 Policies are equal. No son policías, eh? Políticas. No, the, the, the government. <clears throat> this one is a noun, okay? Okay. The government. The government uh, has been has been mm. has been changing or see? yes has been changing, changing. Uh, them policies or some policies about okay. about ele uh, ele el electoral policies hmm. some policies some electoral policies, okay. Mm -hmm. no, uh, Javier, good? go like that, Javier. Changing, changing. Changing, okay. Changing. Teacher, in the reading, the policies. How do you spell it? Is with Y? Tiene una I más. Policies. How do you spell it? P O L. I C I E S. I C E S. Ah, okay. Yeah, because it finishes with Y policies. That's why. Changing. Next. Okay, next uh, is a health, health care systems. Health. Health care. Sistemas de salud. Yeah. Health care system this is a noun okay sebastian you have one yes i've been learning the new health care system yep i've been learning the new health Care system. Yeah, I've been learning. You can use about maybe as a preposition. I've been learning about that. About right? the new. <clears throat> yeah. Next word. Influx. Influx. Remember, to invade, to contaminate, it's a verb. Influx. To influx. Verb. 
to penetrate to infect to enter the COVID-19 virus mm -hmm. uh, has been influx too much has been influ influxing maybe influxing yes influxing yeah. mm. too much person oh. to oh, no, no. Uh, yeah but too much no because it's a lot of people a, a lot of people a lot of people or many also Okay, many people. Many okay. people. Okay. Several. Number eight. Okay. Several. Yeah. Several yeah. people. Yeah. Yes. Number eight. What is it, guys? Uh, is Why a your focus? major focus. Huh? Major focus. Oh, major focus. This one applies to everything, okay? This one is a noun. The the general the general manager has been uh, has been has been, been watching watching. Uh -huh. Algo así, observing o... Oh. Okay. okay, observing. Putting attention. Ch checking. Checking. Analyzing, okay. Observing. Major focus on costs. No. And major it's focus. In safety. On cost, on safety. Safe money. Uh, the principal goal, okay? Number nine. In the SBC. <laughs> Good lines. Oh, number nine. Good lines. Huh? Good lines. Guidelines. Guidelines, yes, yes. Guidelines are a noun in like a guide, obviously, right? Guideline. Instructions. Guideline. Instructions in this case. Right. Have you been following the guidelines for the check check your microphone? Oh. Check your guidelines of your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I should, I should. At 7 p.m. your major focus will be your microphone yeah at 7 p.m that should be my major focus should be yeah guidelines finish finish uh we have we have been following yeah the, uh, get the guidelines of yes. the health care system excellent Okay, of the health care system. Very good. This one. To finish, what was the last one? Mm. Commit commitment. 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 You know what a commitment is? It's a noun, by the way. Commitment. Is your You're willing to do something, your commitment, mm. the power you have to finish something, how responsible you are. Are you commit? Do you have, or for example, do you have commitment to finish the course? Do you have compromise? That's compromise, yes. That's compromise. the word. Yes. Compromise. Yes. 
<clears throat> Commitment. Have, Tell me. I have been. I have been commitment with my mother to. It's not a verb, Rene. Yeah, but it's doing only a, doing a commitment, maybe. I have been doing a commitment with her mom. Mm -hmm. Un compromiso, very good. That no eating more chocolate. No more chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, but yes, ma'am. Another class, eh, the <laughs> the other topic is only present perfect. I using, for example, I have been only, yes. Ah, okay. I but I have been. I have been what? He estado comprometida. Quieres decir? Yeah. Ah. Yes. In that case, it's committed. I have committed. Comprometida. Committed. Okay. Y commitment, compromiso. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. We're going to do an exercise of speaking. Okay? I'm going to be your boss and you have a meeting with me. I'm going to be asking questions. Okie dokie. All right. Let's see. One minute and I'm going to do one minute and 30 seconds. Ready, Luis? I'm going to start with you. Yes. All right. What's up, Luis? How are you today? I'm good. What about you? I'm good too. Mister, what have you been doing all day? I have been calling you, man. Yeah, I have been I have been working in a new project because I our our capital uh, has been growing in the in the last month, and that's all. Nice. And uh, have you been working also in the personal project you told me about your garden in your house? Oh my. My new project is okay. It has been uh, growing because uh, every day I has I have been uh, working in in I I have working in it. Okay, on it, on it, on it. Yes, excellent. And um, just to finish, man, have you been thinking about changing your job? Uh, no, I haven't. I I I haven't been thinking and on it. Excellent. Very good, Luis. All right. Who's next? <laughs> Rene. Rene. All right, Rene. Javier. <laughs> Here we okay. go, Rene. What's Perfect. up, Rene? How are you today? Hello. I am okay. Thank you. And you? I'm good too. Hey, uh, Rene, I have a question for you. Have you been um, baking cakes lately? Cakes? Cakes. Have you been baking cakes? One more, please. Have you been baking cakes? Oh, yeah. Mm, yes, I have been baking cakes mm, lately. Yes. Yeah. Um. I was going to ask you to, um, you have been baking cakes and also you have been working at the mine? Yes, I have been working on the mine, but when I have, have been having a time, I use it for to cooking, to, to okay. bake, sorry, to bake. To bake, okay. And um, how have you been feeling with us in the company? How have you been feeling with us? Okay. I have been, been feeling very well, but I need a new shame in my life. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you, Rene, for speaking with me. Javier, see you, Javier. Javier, next, next, next Javier. Javier. <laughs> 
Javier, how are you doing today, mister? Uh, I'm okay. How, how, how about you? I'm good. Uh, Javier, can you tell me what have you been doing for the last month in your job? Yes. Uh, we have we have been trained to implement a new uh, program in in safety. Uh, we have uh, we have been uh, training the supervisors and the people and uh, co-workers to improve uh, new policies in in safety. Uh, specifically in observation and taking action action with the people in the timing in the real time in the moment and and I have been working too in the production planes and reviewing the cost and reviewing the metallurgy model and everything. Nice. All right, Javier. Well, thank you for the report. Thank you very much. Nice. Sebastian, ready, man? Yes. Nice. Okay. One minute and 30 seconds. Mr. Sebastian, how are you today, man? I'm fine. Pretty good. Very nice. Uh, Mr. Sebastian, can you tell me what have you been working on on the last year? Yes, I've been working in, a, in building a, a different house. And I'm trying to implement new policies in my workers. So, it's kind of that. Very nice. And mister, have you been making any changes in your designs or something new that you might have? Yes, I've been making a lot of oh, oh I'm making a lot of changes by the new projects in the in the drawings in, because I had I got that revision with the customers and they changed a lot of things. It's difficult. And um, since this is difficult, have you been having problems with the customers or not really? No, I, I have, haven't been uh, making problems because it's part of the process. Because it's part of the process. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mr. Sebastian. Alfredo, ready? Yeah, Mr. How are Hi, you? Mr. Alfredo, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. And you? You look I'm so good. fresh, no? I look so what? So fresh. Fresh. Fresh? Really? New, new haircut or? No. Maybe I took a shower this morning. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Not really. Not much. How have you been? Oh. I'm fine. I have a I have been uh, uh working on some issues like yesterday, but all is in order. All right. And um ha have you been having a lot of problems in your job? No, not much. I haven't uh, I haven't been uh, um having uh, too much problems. Just uh, yesterday, have a, some. Uh, I was I was a little uh, stress stressed or excited for yeah. one uh, fire in the hills. <laughs> oh my god, was it dangerous? Uh, so so, um, because it's too near of a magazine. All right. Also, explosive, explosive magazine. Holy shit! Okay, cool. everything's fine now. Right, everything is it's good. It's fine. Excellent. Nice. Thank you, Alfredo. Claudia, ready, Claudia? 
Yes. Claudia, I want to know what have you been doing to get better on English because I have been seeing your improvement. Mm, yes, uh, I have been um, learning in my free time and I watch a more series in in English. Um, read, read. Uh, I'm reading the book in English and articles and nice and etc. And have you have you also been listening to music? Um, yes, no, no much, but uh, I agree more uh, music in English. All music. Uh, <laughs> Uh, is my favorite and is I I agree in my listing. Excellent. All right. And um, what projects have you been working on? Um, um I have been um starting a new project. Uh, um, maybe the the next week. Uh, okay. in a professional. Um, crecimiento, crecimiento profesional. Growth, growth, growth. Yeah, very nice. All right, thank you, Claudia. Lupita, to finish. Ready? Yes, teacher. How are you, Lupita? How are you today? I'm good, to teacher. Thank you for asking. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I have a question for you. How have you been feeling? After married, that's a question. How have you been feeling after being married? Um, I have feeling I have been feeling very happy and um, have you been have you been have you been planning to go back to Las Vegas soon? Uh, yes, I have I have been planning to Las Vegas um soon. Um in August. Okay. And uh, um on how many events have you been working lately? I have been working lately uh, in in two weddings uh, for months, March and um, and I have to forget. <laughs> March and and April and April. Okay, thank you, Lupita. All right, guys. Before we finish, before we go, ¿Qué creen que se me olvida? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. All right, guys, speaking, more speaking, more speaking. Uh, Luis. Let's see, Luis. One minute, Luis. Okay. You're going to talk about... Oh, very easy about your day. Go, Luis. All right. Um, today, I... I wake up and then I I went to cut my hair. I got a I got a appointment in the in the I don't know how you say a, a barbershop. Yes. And yeah. and then I come to my house and what else? And oh yeah. Uh, I went to 
to uh, a little meeting uh, with my with my uh, workmates, and then I I finished uh, a TV show for uh, Thursday because I I had uh, this uh, uh, errand 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 all right this errand all right Lupita you ready. Something I hate, Lupita. One minute. Um, it's difficult for because I I have I haven't I don't have uh, something that I I hate. Mm. But um okay. I ate um hate I don't know <laughs> your teacher, I don't know, say something. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Tengo nada que... Okay. Uh, Rene, one minute, Rene. I want to ask, you want to ask somebody. One minute, Rene. You or anybody? Okay, okay. Uh, okay. I don't know. Okay, for Javier. <laughs> Hi, Javier. How are you? I am good. What about you? I am okay, thank you. Um, have you been doing today? Doing what? Doing what? Doing in your in your job. Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's okay, Javier. You can ask. Okay. Doing what? Doing what? For example, doing a rep a report, doing a attendant visit. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Mm. Is do the, you okay? Okay. Okay. Do you like movies or series? Series. 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 I like I like series. Uh do you watch a Yellowstone? Uh, I remember you say in this class. Yes, I have been watching the Yellowstone series uh, since the two weeks ago. Uh, do you, you like the Yellowstone? Thank you, guys. Yes. Claudia. Like Claudia, a new pandemic. There is a rumor that we have a new pandemic coming. One minute. Yes, yes, uh, I I listen about the new pandemic, uh, and another uh, virus, virus, virus. Yes, uh, uh, about the co the COVID nineteen and another. Um, I, I I don't know. Um, yes, and, and another virus relations, uh, relation to the, uh, the COVID-19. Uh, uh, um, and I, I think is uh, and, and something uh, sales with the, the topic in, in the health of the, of the world, I, I think is is not supporting another um, another time of a uh, stay at home uh, as a uh, 20, 2020. <clears throat> thank you, Claudia. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> Mr. Alfredo. 
Next summer, Alfredo. Very easy, one minute. Next summer, um, my family, uh, we has been, we have been uh, thinking or planning the next uh, summer vacation. Maybe, well, uh, we have uh, um, check our possibility about go to um, Flagstaff, Flagstaff, no, Flagstaff, and um, another town near of of Flagstaff. I don't remember the the name. This town have a Sedona. Red Hills, ah, Sedona, yeah. Is this is is this is the same uh, place on which which is which is place, please? Yes, it is the next to next to Flagstaff. Oh, okay, yeah, about uh, fifty kilometers. I don't know. Well, this is the Very our nice. plan for for next summer. Thank okay. you, Mr. Alfredo, Sebastian. Something that you recommend, one minute. I recommend uh, to see the series from, from Amazon Prime. His, his name is the La Casa de las Llaves. I don't know if you, if you are watching yet, but it's a very good series. It's, a, it's about a relationship or or friends and and they put uh, kids in the table and put and choose one and they need to to go a diet with the who took your two kids. <laughs> if you took in, my Amazon, kids, in I, Amazon Prime, yes, in video prime? Yes, in Amazon Prime. For example, if if I if you put if you would take my kids, we need to <laughs> go to a date. <laughs> okay. It's very crazy. To but they, but they, they, they are friends and it is, it's a lot of problem. <laughs> it's very... Um, swingers. <laughs> swingers, that's the word, right? <laughs> okay. I'm crazy. <laughs> we need to watch it. Very good. Okay, guys. Well, ahí está. No se traumen, okay? Es parte del proceso de, de improvisar. Eh, hasta este momento hemos sido muy cuidados. ¿Sí me explico? Hemos estado bajo unas, unos ejercicios muy controlados. Y cuando se les abre la puerta a decir, estás libre para hablar, man, de lo que quieras. Se, es tanto lo que tenemos en mente que, que nos bloqueamos. right Entonces, <risa> no, nos, Lupita pasó el día de hoy y nos va a pasar a, a todos eventualmente. ¿Ok? Eh, ojalá podamos hacer este ejercicio de la ruleta así con temas random que no sepas ni qué te va a tocar para yes. que puedan experimentar el, la improvisación Por ejemplo, que... les yo, 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 estaba, yo estaba pensando que iba a decir de algo que odiaba yo de peso pluma <risa> right. a saber qué se me ocurre si tienen temas ahí mándenme para que estén aquí Okay. okay. Have a good day. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Tomorrow. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. -bye. See ya. Bye, Mister.